Hot chocolate. Interesting, Rick. Bit of classic pop there. I'll put you together again. Nothing wrong with that. Don't be a musical snob. I hate that when people try and list their top ten favourite songs. And they always try to be the coolest, most obscure. <laughs> um, I love Blind Lemon Pie, the unrecorded years. Uh, well, here we are, Sunday Sermon. Um, the, it's meant to be a, a joke, pretentious, highfalutin title. It's not a Sunday Sermon, is it really? It's me just talking to myself. And by myself, I mean cats and dogs and people with nothing better to do. Cheers from Laguna and Maryland. Laguna Beach, Maryland. Everyone, Canada, Calgary, Alberta. Oh, look at this. Melbourne. Oh, from all over the world. Look at this. Ramsbottom, even. All over. Look at this. Oh my God, Germany. Hello. Stuttgart, Paris, everywhere. Right. Um, right, I asked some questions. That gets us going, doesn't it? Um, uh, Rosie, um, straight off to a classic. I studied philosophy. Um, I studied sciences and philosophy. Uh, so this is right up my street. Uh, Rosie says, um, <laughs> if you had to have no elbows or no knees, which one would you choose? Well... <laughs> I assume you don't just mean no elbows, like my my forearms just hanging off. But uh, you mean no joint, do you? So it's like it's either stiff arms or stiff legs. It's got to be stiff legs. It's got to be stiff legs because at least they're still functional. If you go along, like you know. You don't have to get your foot to your mouth. Do you know what I mean? But you have to get your hands to your mouth. So I couldn't even fucking eat. Uh -uh. I'd have to just get a spoon for the porridge and go. Argh. Do you know what I mean? So if I can do that and just walk like a little robot. <laughs> <laughs> Cracking question to start off with. Good. Justin says, is there anything you've recently changed your view on? Ah, uh, yeah, I'm sure. I mean, I don't think there's anything where I've, I've completely done a 180 on a big issue that I've thought about for long, but things evolve and, you know, you realise you get older that things are, are more nuanced and they're not so black and white and and there's good and bad in everything. I think that's the big thing. You look at things slightly more analytically and dare I say, do I mean more tolerant? I suppose you, you realize that everyone makes mistakes. I mean, I used to be sort of quite belligerent. When, when, uh, I'll give you an example. Like when I first got on Twitter, I don't know, five, 10 years ago, if someone asked that question, uh, if we, if we evolve from apes, then why are still apes? I, I want to go, you stupid fucking idiot, right? Uh, I, but now I go, now I answer it. Now I think, well, not everyone, you know, and I know that's still an aggressive, that's a sort of passive aggressive thing, if they don't. But I, I just, I do, I say, well, we didn't evolve um, from apes. Um, modern man evolved alongside with modern apes from a common ancestor. So I just, I just give them the benefit of the doubt and answer the question. So I've changed my view on that sort of thing. Um, it's just that everyone makes mistakes. Uh, Muhammad Ali said a great thing. He said, if, if you think the same at 50 as you did at 20, all you've done is waste 30 years of your life. Couldn't it? So you constantly evaluate, I think. So the answer is yes. Um, but evolution is a fact. <laughs> Clear that one up. When people keep saying, I've done it so many times, right? they say, it's just a theory. It's not a theory, okay? 
They mean the theory of evolution through natural selection. That's the theory bit, the process of evolution. Evolution is a fact. It's happened. We see it everywhere. Right? Also, the word theory, scientific theory, doesn't mean the same as in common parlance. It doesn't mean a hunch. It doesn't mean a hunch. It's something, it, it, it means evolution fucking happened. It's still happening. All right? <laughs> um, Emma Dolan. Oh, yeah, I like talking about evolution. If you could bring back an extinct animal, which one would you bring back and why? <gasps> wow. I mean, um, but this is a very difficult question because, let me tell you something. 99% of all species that ever existed are now extinct. What's here now is about 1% of all species because there were so many dead ends, so many millions and millions of things that went, what about this? They went, no, dead. Right? Back to square one. The, the branches of the tree of life are just, we don't know. Guess is five to 10 million including some of the insects, which we still don't know about, if you know what I mean. Um, insects alone, who wouldn't want to bring back one of those fucking three-foot dragonflies? Oh, imagine that. <laughs> um, first thought is obviously always dinosaurs, just the sheer size of those things. And obviously, it'd be lovely to have a Tyrannosaurus rex running round, <laughs> keeping people on their toes. <laughs> uh, if the Tyrannosaurus Rex, right, only at people that weren't wearing a mask, some people would still not wear a mask. They'd say, look, it's my right. <laughs> um, oh. oh, and then there's the, like, the wombats the size of a cow and stuff like that. Oh, I know. Pterodactyl. Just love to see one of those. <sighs> Pterodactyl. Um, Fiona says, would you ever play a vampire in a TV show or film? Yeah, I've got a soft spot for vampires. That's one of my dreams I have sometimes, that I dream I'm a vampire frightening someone and then I wake up scared because I've frightened someone. Uh, what the fuck is that? Any psychiatrist? <laughs> I think it's because, one, I've got the teeth. Um, I sort of quite like that. I like that sort of gothic stuff. Not in a big way. I don't like the, you know. I mean, I like Hammer Horror, but that was the first horror film I saw when I was about eight or nine. My sister let me watch Dracula with Christopher Lee, which isn't scary when you think about it, but it, to, it is to an eight-year-old. And for about a month, I couldn't go to sleep unless I'd covered my neck with a sheet and blankets. I just made up this rule that if, if a vampire comes in the window and he goes, oh, it's fucking covered up. <laughs> like, they can't do that. They can't take the sheet away. They go, oh, it's fucking, it's covered his neck. Go next door. Go next door. I know they sleep with a sheet just like that. <laughs> yeah, that'd be good, that. But a real sort of psycho one. Not a comedy one or a cool one. No, I mean, just, just one that has to... <sighs> it's just instinct. He just... <sighs> <sighs> proper vampire bat. Like, you know what I mean? Not a cool gentleman with witticisms and bite me in. Like that, just like a... <laughs> like one of them. Just crawling up a wall. <laughs> um, so that, that answers your question. says, I watched politics today. And he means my stand-up, I hope, not just some politics. Loved it. Loved it then, loved it now. Great. Do you ever watch your old stuff, particularly your stand-up? And wish you'd done anything different? I don't. I don't watch back. I've never, I don't think I've ever put on 
a stand-up or a film or a show that I've been in. I, I see them enough in the edit. Uh, I see them at the premiere. Um, but no. But I do see clips of things. Uh, which is uh, which is nice. So I think I, um, I think the answer is yes, particularly with stand up. You would change things in a show. It's different because it all sort of works. So you, yeah. Having said that, stand up, you practice more, and it becomes sort of more definitive by committee because it's sort of been road tested to hundreds of thousands of people. But the world changes. So there's things that don't quite... Already I've got to change bits of Supernature because of... There are some things that don't make sense now because of the pandemic. And, um, that you just got to tweak or acknowledge it. Uh, so the answer would be yes, I'd probably change... I'd have to... If I did my old stand-up again now, I'd, there'd, ha I'd, there'd have to be tweaks to make it... Um, just so people wouldn't go, why is he? That's not a thing to say now because things change very quickly. Language, parlance, things like that. So, yes. Um, but no, I don't see at home watching my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. Imagine that. Jane, what? We're watching Ghost Town tonight. Oh, good. Happy birthday, Jane. What is it? It's a signed office DVD. I might do that one day, but totally serious. I don't know, this is, you know, I think that means a lot more than just like a watch, isn't it? Um, oh, another one, Melissa, of what's humanity today? Is it really, really bad? And so on PC that I laughed hysterically. Um, no, it's not. I think, I, I think that's a common mistake people make, that they feel bad about laughing at something that's un-PC. Well, the thing about political correctness is, it's not correctness, it's political correctness. It's things that people don't say and do because they're not popular or palatable or they might get the wrong answer. It's not, it's not a case of right and wrong. It's not doing the... In fact, sometimes it can be the opposite. Sometimes things are shut down that are right because some people don't like it. Some people don't like the truth.
slimy feet. <laughs> like, a, like a snail, but faster. Good. So I'm just going... But I, my own feet, is it my own feet? But I'm just... But I can't sort of run. Let's go like that. Yeah, all right, that's good. Or jump everywhere like a kangaroo. Which do you choose and why? No doubt about it. No doubt about it. I already have to sort of walk around like that now because my knees and hips. So I'd like to fucking bounce around like a kangaroo. Just six feet, buying, buying over a fence. I've lost the nerve, like jumping and stuff now. When I was a kid, I used to jump down my stairs, right? I was like, I don't know, eight, nine. I started off with the first few, and it was 13 steps, right? And there was, and there was a little council house, so there was no, there was no sort of rolling space at the bottom. It was just a wall. And so I had to, I, I, and I had to miss a bit of the head. So I used to fling myself down and land like a, a frog, right? I used to jump off my shed. Jump off my shed. Why would I do that? Now, I was uh, in the gym like a year ago. You know those little things that people jump up and down? I was scared that I'd do my knees in. It's about two foot. <laughs> so I do that, bounding around like a kangaroo. Easily. No brainer. Um, gunner, fuck me. Another dog. Um, how many chickens would it take to be able to kill a lion? So uh, he means, so there's a, n a number of chickens. They're all military trained. They go, how can we kill this lion? They all want to do the same thing. They have to kill a lion. This lion's just looking at the chickens and going, fuck. I mean, how many? Back in... Hundreds. Um, what, it just or one if it had salmonella. Um, how many chickens would it take to be able to kill a lion? <laughs> now this is my life. Um, he'd go through him. He wouldn't. He wouldn't fucking bother him, would it? A lion. And they go in his. Like those, like mentor, his face and shit. He'd get knackered. Uh, hundred and fifty. How the fuck do I know? <laughs> uh, uh, oh god, what a waste. Um, Katie Pepper says, any plans to bringing Jezzup to life? That was my story when I was like 13, 14. I wrote a, like a novel in an exercise book in English about a, a hard-nosed New York cop called Jezzup. <laughs> I don't think so. Make a good spoof. I don't really do spoofs. They're sort of too easy, aren't they? Um, but someone else could do it. Someone else could do a spoof of Jezzup. They spell it right as well. It's great. Um, who's that? Nancy says, if your life was a book, what would the title be? Oh, God. They're always puns, aren't they? From Rags to Ricky. Um, Brent as a nine bob note. <laughs> Doesn't mean anything. Uh, what would it be? Do you mean my sort of biopic? Or do you mean I'm writing a... You can't answer, can you? Um, a funny thing happened on the way to the office. That would be a lot of horrible, wouldn't it? Um, Rags to Ricky's all right, isn't it? Uh, well, that's all the questions. Well, it's not all the questions. But it's... Oh, my God, look, we've gone over time. Um... Oh, thanks for um, uh, the UFIT. They gave our ethical shout out. Um, Brewdog came through. Then uh, the the UFIT protein, Chris. They gave money to uh, two charities. So thanks for that. I haven't thought of anything. What can I do? What can I do? 
this week. Um, well, you can always donate to your own charity, can't you, for this? This is free. That would be good. If, if I could set up a thing... See, people d d don't remember. They don't go and do it afterwards. They don't go and donate the next day. Well, some do, but you know what I mean. If there was a thing you could press, like all these hearts and all these questions, people are, if there was a, something you could just press on the screen and it were a pound went to a dog shower, everyone would do it. We'd have like 100 grand if they could just be bothered. So Twitter, work out how it can be just a, if I do this, if they just touch the screen, they've given a pound to a charity. That's, that's, that's your job. That's a great idea, isn't it? Um... We need something that easy, don't we? Uh, I'll give a shout out. I know I'll give a shout out to. I've never let you down, have I, with my recommendations for world dramas on Netflix and other streaming services. Um, uh, but so you've heard you've heard great things from me, like you know, before we die, four blocks, Gamora. Um, my latest one was uh, Caliphate, which you should watch. But I think I've now found my favourite thing of the year, and it's it's in the it's in the top ten pantheon. It's up there with Sopranos and The Wire and Breaking Bad and those and The Bridge and things like that. Right? I'm on the second series now. Um, it's called Braku. Okay. Now. It's like a cross, it's like turbo spiral. It's like a gang, a tight gang of police, police men and women. And they are like a gang. It's like a cross between spiral and uh, that documentary, The 7-5, when that bloke's in the mafia and a policeman, New York policeman. It's really amazing, high octane, undercover, like serious just serious fucking cops into everything. And whatever they do, you're still on their side. Because, because I don't want to give anything away. But Braco, my new favourite, uh, is French. So there you go. That's my, that's my shout out. So people behind Braco, give some money to charity. <laughs> give, give... I don't know, to a dog charity somewhere. Well, that's about it, isn't it? Look, we do longer now, I only do one a week. I've had lots of requests for doing two a week. Um, uh, thanks to everyone. Spire is excellent, yeah. I donated to the monkeys, thank you very much. Um, how do you spell that series? I think it's B-R-A-Q-U-O, Braku. So maybe I'll do two a week. Maybe I, I'm not going to promise, but if I've got something to say, maybe I could do Sundays and Wednesdays. But then you get bored with that and wish it was once a week, wouldn't you? What's in it for me? That's the question. Um, retweet it. That's all, that's all we have to do. Retweet it. Or watch one of my shows on Netflix. Even, even in fact, yeah, look, if I do these like <laughs> once or twice a week, when you've watched one, either retweet it, because it's days now, right? or whatever, um, or put one of my shows on Netflix. Even if you've watched them already, put them on when you go out, because then Netflix will go, God, everyone's, look at that. Everyone watches Humanity and Afterlife over and over again. We should give him more money next time. So you just watching my shows, I get the money, and I... Donate lots to charity, don't I? It'll go all go to dog. So in in a way, in a way, <laughs> right? I'm doing this for free and for the dogs. So <laughs> I might as well do it anyway. I've got fuck all else to do except write series in three of Afterlife and get my world tour back in order and other shit. Um, thanks everyone. Uh, that'll do, wouldn't it? So I'll maybe see you Wednesday. Depends on how much you retweet it and how much you... 
And if you've got, keep your questions coming throughout the week if they're good, because maybe I can answer one or two just on sort of video and put them up. If they're, if they're like, you know, interesting questions about my work or something I know about or, you know. Oh, what would I ask that for? Fuck's sake. Um, <laughs> thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, be nice to animals. Tati bye. Tati bye.